911, what's your emergency? Ma'am, can ma'am, can can you can you please tell me your address? All right, units are on the way, ma'am. Try to stay calm. The amulet should be close, ma'am. Um, try try to get their attention. What? It it, it should be right next to you. Ma'am, what was that address again? That is not the address I heard. How could you have let this happen? It wasn't my fault. I think my head said malfunction when you told me your address. You think? I know. I was hearing a high-pitched noise. Must have interfered with the voice. This ambulance is going to be late because you heard a high-pitched tone? And what happened after that? My, my boss told me that he had been having problems with the headsets too. That's terrible. Yeah, he just hates the consequences that are going to happen because of it. What happened to the person? Who? The person who needed the ambulance, Matthew. Oh, you know Audrey, right? Yeah. She had anaphylaxis, peanut allergies, wasn't able to reach her EpiPen in time. Poor Audrey. I had a class with her too. I had it sent to the right address after I realized, but it came out 10 minutes later than it regularly would. Will she be okay? The medics are able to help her. Um, she's in the hospital right now. I, I kind of hope she'll be okay. She's gonna make it. She will. I just can't help feel guilty that I did it, like it was my fault. You shouldn't be thinking like that. Anyone could have done it. But why was the other one that did it? It was an accident, Matthew. Yeah. An accident. All right, Matthew, let's see. Would you like the good news or the bad news? Bad news. Well, based on your diagnosis, you have a gradual sensory neural hearing loss. Good news is you might be entitled to a disability benefit. That's not good news. I, I, I need to work as a dispatcher. I feel sorry for you, Matthew. The bad things always happen to the good people. I'll be fine. That's the spirit. It's gradual hearing loss, so I'll still be able to uh, work as a dispatcher. I don't think that would be a, the best idea. You won't be able to perform your job to your fullest ability. Oh, I'll, I'll be fine. Ma'am, can you please tell me your address? It wasn't my fault. Um, the headset mom function when she told me her address. Emma, what are you doing here? I just received a call from Audrey's parents. And? She, uh, she didn't make it. What, what do you mean? I'm sorry, Matthew. This is all my fault. It wasn't your fault. It was. Matthew. If I just sent the ambulance to the right address, she would still be alive. You don't know that. I do. Matthew, this wasn't your fault. We put someone's life in technology's hands, and it failed. No, no, no. Matthew, you can still be a good person. I don't see the ambulance. How can I still be a good person after what I did? Who we are isn't solely based on the consequence of our action, but the action itself. Matthew's birth. You are pleading guilty to manslaughter for intentional withholding disability information, which has caused the death of Audrey Cole. Do you have any statements? Yes. I would like to apologize to the family of Audrey Cole. I am deeply sorry for your loss. I might not be a good person for what I did, but I hope you don't see me as a bad one. 14 months in prison already, huh? Yeah, it sure flies by. <laughs> you know, I think what you did was really admirable. 
I just wouldn't have been able to bear without thinking about it, and I wanted to come clean, like I said. I understand I'll make mistakes, but it's not the mistakes that define you. It's how you rebound from the mistakes and persevere.